Ken DeStefanis' passion for the sport of wrestling began early in his life. Many on his wrestling teams became part of the extended family he continued to hold dear. This includes Locust Valley head coach Matt Sanzone, a member of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame, whom Ken is humbled to be joining with this evening's induction. Ken credits Sanzone with many of the core values and life lessons he has learned his life by. He has always been a difference maker as a wrestler, as a coach, and as a spokesperson and mover for wrestling in the state of Connecticut. So I, when I say that I'm very proud, I also speak for the Locust Valley Wrestling community who share my pride with this great honor. And I'm very proud to say, Kenny, that I was your high school coach. There is no question you have made a tremendous impact in the sport of wrestling on the high school, college level, as well as your camps and clinics. You continued to run the competitive edge camps for many years, influencing thousands of young wrestlers and improving their skills, techniques, and a love for the sport. The journey began in 1973 when Ron DeStefanis scored the first of many championship victories for the sons of Dr. Al and Angela DeStefanis as the family embarked on a domination of the sport of wrestling in Nassau County, New York and beyond. The brothers DeStefanis, Ron, Ken, Al, Rob and Carl have won over 125 tournaments, a jaw-dropping 44 individual titles, including six New York State high school titles, eight Nassau County championships, and 30 league invitational and conference crowns. They also hold an incredible collective record of 406 and 48. Their family wrestling prowess culminated in Carl's 1984 national championship at Penn State. It was only fitting that the nationally known DeStefanis family's staggering successes and deep-rooted lasting commitments to the sport were recognized in 2012 when they were honored as Long Island's first family of wrestling. After receiving his degree in education, Ken accepted a teaching job in Madison, Connecticut and was offered the opportunity to coach at Daniel Hand High School as an assistant to Jim Flanagan. He immediately made his mark on the hand program with the Tigers winning a team state championship that year. Ken coached his first individual state champion, Carmen Del Vecchio, who has remained in the sport as a highly respected wrestling official. It was my senior year and our team had no idea what to expect with two new coaches. Ken brought us a Long Island style of wrestling that none of us had ever experienced before. And by the end of the year, he helped bring Daniel Hand High School its first wrestling state championship. I am proud to be Kenny's first state champ and honored to be able to congratulate him on being inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. The following season, the late George Redman, Central Connecticut's head coach at the time, was instrumental in bringing Ken back to the New Britain campus. Ken was the ideal choice to take the Central Connecticut wrestling program from the Division II ranks to Division I and make the Blue Devils the most exciting and fastest growing Division I collegiate program in the country. Ken is an outstanding individual who has dedicated much of his life to the sport of wrestling and more specifically to Connecticut wrestling. Without a doubt, Ken DeStefanis was my most significant wrestling mentor. The time that I spent coaching with Ken was the most important learning experience of my coaching career. Under his tutelage, I learned to recruit, motivate, and succeed as a college wrestling coach. During Ken's first year as head coach at Central Connecticut <laughs> State University, I served as an assistant coach. We were a fairly successful Division II program. When I returned three years later to again coach with Ken, he had built the team into a top 40 Division I program that was winning conference titles. Ken DeStefanis has been a major contributor to Connecticut wrestling for well over 30 years. Through his coaching, camps, clinics, and clubs, he has positively influenced a great number of wrestlers from Connecticut and all over the Northeast. Many of these wrestlers have gone on to successful coaching careers and in turn influenced and mentored many additional wrestlers. My congratulations to Coach DeStefanis on this well-deserved honor. 
Um, he wasn't just a coach, a mentor, a, uh, a, a person who d tries to develop character in you, teach you life lessons. Wrestling was really just a side entity to what he taught. And I learned so much that I still use today uh, myself as a, as a teacher, as a coach, as an athletic director, as a business owner. Uh, congratulations. You absolutely 100% deserve this. I'm so excited that I can now tell everybody that my coach is in the Hall of Fame. Uh, and um, God bless and take care. When I came to this country, Kenny was the first wrestling person I met. He helped me stay involved in the, what I love most, wrestling. Kenny is excellent coach, excellent person, and excellent friend. Few coaches can claim the success Ken has had. Under his tutelage and recruiting savvy, the Blue Devils developed into one of the top Division I wrestling programs in New England and the Northeast while earning national respect and recognition. Central Connecticut took Division I by storm during their first Division I season, finishing with a 17-1 dual meet record and dethroning five-time New England champion Boston University. The Blue Devils earned their first of three straight New England championship titles by winning five out of ten weight classes and sending five wrestlers to the Division I national championships. Ken orchestrated consistently strong recruiting classes for the Blue Devils, such as in 1988 when it ranked 20th behind such powerhouses as Arizona State, Nebraska, and Iowa State. In 1991-92, Central Connecticut received its first national ranking. Four of his wrestlers were ranked in the top 28 of their respective weight classes, and the squad captured the East Coast Wrestling Association Championship. He compiled an overall record of 153, 58, and 2, and a winning percentage of 723 that ranked him among the top 20 active wrestling coaches in the nation. Ken is very distinctive from many of the members of the Hall of Fame. First of all, he comes from a royalty in wrestling. Uh, one only needs to hear about the distinctiveness of Long Island, and you know uh, who and what they've accomplished. And this is just one more accomplishment for that incredible family. And was an outstanding coach uh, for Central Connecticut State University and was um, in charge of their most successful program. Kenny's energetic, positive, uh, and truly one of the uh, more inspirational people I've ever been around. And so uh, this is well deserved. Congratulations. God bless. Good job, Kenny. He has coached many Division I New England champions and East Coast Conference champion and has had 10 wrestlers named as National Freshman All-Stars by Amateur Wrestling News during his career, a tribute to his ability to land some of the most talented freshmen in the country. Over 30 Central Connecticut wrestlers competed in the Division I NCAA National Championships where Ken had the opportunity to coach against the legendary Dan Gable on many occasions. Ken's coaching prowess and the Blue Devils' success earned him 1987 and 1988 New England Coach of the Year honors, as well as the 1991 East Coast Wrestling Association Coach of the Year. In 1992, Wrestling USA named him Connecticut's Wrestling Man of the Year. Known as a leader for helping wrestlers of all ages, his competitive edged wrestling camp was recognized as one of the top camps in the nation. In the 27 years of competitive-edged wrestling camps and clinics, over 25,000 wrestlers have participated from 23 states and seven countries. Close to 2,000 coaches have also been part of these camps and clinics teaching, assisting, and learning our great sport. The sport of wrestling has given much to Ken, and in turn, Ken has given much back to the sport he loves, awarding more than 500 scholarships to deserving elementary, junior high and high school wrestlers to attend his competitive edge camps and clinics. American School for the Deaf wrestlers were a part of the camp for many years as his son Carl played an important role as teacher and sign language interpreter. Ken's illustrious wrestling career has given him many opportunities including being a featured clinician at the National Wrestling Coaches Convention 
the last two years, he has had the pleasure of working with Hall of Fame coach Dave Knute and the Southington Youth Wrestling Program. As you know, Ken comes from a distinguished wrestling family on Long Island um, and has done great things and become a great contributor to the state of Connecticut and to New England wrestling over the last 40 years. He uh, has done a lot for the coaches in New England and allowed them the opportunity to send kids to camp that couldn't normally afford to come. He offered numerous scholarships and uh, free rides to these camps over the years. Coaches absolutely clamored to get to work at these camps. They were a lot of fun. Um, they were some of the best coaches in the Northeast, and it was a great opportunity to get together and bond and to share a lot of knowledge with each other. Congratulations to Ken for being inducted to the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. Um, I just want to tell you that you've been a tremendous friend to me and a great mentor. I got my wrestling style from my father, and I received a lot of advice from him on how to be a better coach when I was coaching at Hartford Classical Magnet School. In our family, wrestling is a big part of our life. But my father's most important lesson was how to become a better person. He taught me how to overcome adversity in life. And he demonstrated, by example, a great work ethic. He, despite all of his success, I think he's an even better father than he is a coach. From the beginning of my wrestling career, the competitive edge camps and clinics were a great part of my off-season training. Uh, you guided me to uh, understanding and appreciating this great and wonderful sport of wrestling and a lot of what I accomplished was due to attending those camps and clinics. So Ken holds firm to the belief that wrestling teaches you to do the right thing. He is quick to tell people that when your wrestling career is over, people won't remember you by the championships you've won. They will remember the type of competitor you were, what type of person you were, and what kind of character and integrity you have had. Ken DeStefanis will be remembered for helping make the sport of wrestling stronger on all age levels in the state of Connecticut. Whenever he is near wrestling, he will often be seen taking the time to teach or help a young wrestler with moves, ideas, motivation, and advice. He has worked tirelessly to build a reputation based on principles. His method of coaching, his extraordinary work ethic, and his dedication to the sport of wrestling, a testament to the regard in which Ken is held.